dead in hip hop conversations. Look, you see the whole crew's here. <laughs> this nigga J. Cole. Um, Mike, I'm gonna start here real quick, bro. You was wrong, man. You was wrong. All them shots, all them shots was 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 directed to Cole. Cole felt it, and that nigga felt the need. He was compelled to not only just drop the diss track, but this nigga dropped the whole project. I, I'm pretty sure we'll get to the entire project at some point in time. And you know how we do. J. Cole dropped this unexpected project in the wee hours of the morning, um, Friday morning, April 5th. And I'm, I'm going to throw it out there to everybody. Did you guys expect it? Um, and how did you feel about the response? What's up? Well, since you since you started with me, I will look. I'm a grown ass man. Mm -hmm. I will admit when I'm wrong. I don't necessarily think I'm wrong because if I was J. Cole, I still wouldn't have taken it that way. Mm -hmm. But I was wrong in thinking that J. Cole would not take it that way. Mm -hmm. So I I relent to you, FIFO. I don't know that he should have responded. Not mm -hmm. with this. Uh, I'm not, this isn't a bad song. Um, I just don't think that this was enough. Personally, mm -hmm. if I'm if I'm putting like that on, because I did right before this call, I put like that back on again. Uh -huh. <laughs> if I'm putting this up against like that, it's not enough. This is a dope J Cole song. It's not a great diss, and that I know I'm I'm, I'm rambling. Give me, I'm, no, I'm, you good, you you good. I promise. Yeah. I feel like this lends a little credence to me thinking that J. Cole does not really have a problem with Kendrick. Mm -hmm. I don't think that J. Cole really wanted to do this. It sounds like J. Cole took it light. So I'm still I'm still relenting to you, FIFO, that he took it a certain way. So I'm still gonna say I'm I'm wrong to a degree. But in another sense, I'm still thinking that it's not that deep. I think Drake and Kendrick got an issue. I think J. Cole and Kendrick are still throwing little playful shots. So that's what I'll say. Yeah. yeah. Mike, I don't disagree with you. Right. And I was just coming from the standpoint on um, what we were talking about like that was, you know, in the, in the spirit of competition, there was definitely strays. And when you think you are one of the best, like I may take it lightly, which is what we got, because it wasn't I don't think it was a diss. It was a response. It, you know what I'm saying? I think that this shows the, the the difference between the two like Kendrick came out and said a lot of stuff that were very hard straights and hooks where i feel like j cole threw a couple of good straights and a lot of jabs and and and, and he even said it like when the beach changed to conductor oh my god that was that was nuts and i know we'll get into the musicality of it all but um i feel like j cole you know because he said man i love my brother you know what I'm saying? I love my brother. I don't. I don't really want to do this, but I'm. I'm. I'm warning you. I'm warning you. If you are still, I don't trust you. We still don't trust you, Kendrick. And you say something else, I'm gonna have some on the fall. Also, I'm here for it. I think it's good for hip hop because mm -hmm. this shows. You know, the top three. They're going at it in in a, in a in, in a Two. lyrical hip hop way. <laughs> I'm here for that. <laughs> Two going at it. Can't really say. Can't really add the third one in there, buddy. We'll, we'll, we'll get to it, but I also think part of the problem is uh, quite a few things that J. Cole said are just not really true. You know what I'm saying? Like, there were certain things that were said in there that I was just like, eh, you probably could have left that out because that's not, I don't really think that's a common sentiment. But the rest of it, I was like, J. Cole's rapping. Since you mentioned that, go for instance, what you think wasn't a common sentiment? I don't know if it's a I don't know if it's a common sentiment that Kendrick's fallen off and maybe y'all y'all correct me if I'm wrong mm -hmm. but I haven't really heard that I know people had an issue with his last project like as far as it being uh listenable and all that but I I haven't personally heard a lot of people say he's fallen off so the whole thing about you still doing shows but you falling off like the Simpsons I don't know. And then the whole the whole line about to pip a butterfly, I think that's something that can spark a conversation. So it's debatable if that's true or not. So but, I think that's kind of what kept me a little bit from really digging into this disc because it was like, well, I don't even know if you really believe that. But that's what was good about that that particular bar is because it is debatable. You do hear it, it, it was a little polarizing when that album came out. There was think pieces on it. There's people that's doing think pieces and there's people that just wanted to listen to it. It's like, oh, no, I don't really get with that. Even some of us be like, that's not something that we really, that's not what we really go back to like that. So I thought it was an interesting thing to put in a diss 
what somebody might be already thinking. Sure. I thought it was I thought it was smart to do it. You know what I'm saying? Because we said it. I, I know I've said it. He has a clear a clean uh, album record, right? But to some, he may not. And I think uh, Cole is speaking to the ones that may not think that it's you know people was gassing that one. Don't get it. Don't get it twisted. People was gassing that one. So I thought it was I thought it was interesting that he said it. You know what I mean? Yeah, I hear you. I yeah. just don't know if there's enough people to back up that sentiment to make that a strong bar. That's just where I'm at with it. Mm-hmm. I haven't heard it enough. For I haven't heard people say that enough for me to be like, oh, that that hits hard. I usually hear people hyping it up being like oh it's the best album of 10 years which i don't agree with and so you got to think about the people that you're around too so you know people that don't like kendrick like that so that's why i'm around so oh you say you're around people that don't like Kendrick like that? yeah like a lot of my friends that are like rap nerds they're not like kendrick freaks like that but rap nerds will look a little deeper into into that album than, a, than a, just a surface level listener of kendrick i disagree mm. i think that people are putting it 10 over 10 or 10 best album out of the last 10 years Mm-hmm. People that are just putting it on and just being like, oh, he's rapping really well and it's got a really dope concept, therefore it's amazing. And then they hear critics kind of say the exact same thing. But yeah, I mean, I, I hear what you're saying, Rod. I agree. There are people that say that it's not, you know, the perfect mm-hmm. album. I don't think it's a perfect album. Right, right. I got what he was saying, but I, I, I always thought I was in the drastic minority with that, with that sentiment. Yeah. I don't think it's boring, though. I don't think it's boring. <clears throat> to, uh, piggyback off your original point mike i i do agree with you about like this comparing this to like that to how direct kendrick was and then j cole and, and when i first listened to it, it just sound like light little jabs it wasn't nothing where it was like gut-wrenching it was like oh man like Ken, kendrick need to reply back to this asap like it, it i didn't get that feeling it was just more of like a um like a respectable like a respectable jab, I guess. It's just kind of like, I ain't, you know, like you said, people was like, yeah, we can go there, but you know, it's just like a little tap, like, hey, I'm here. You know, I know you was at, di- you was directly at Drake, but hey, I'm here too. I can, you know, like I'm, I'm showing my shit too. I'm, I, I can show you, I can rap. You talking about something, it was only big you, but, and I feel like the first beat was kind of garbage. The first beat, the, the conductor joint was, was nice. The first beat, it sounded like some damn, I don't, I don't know. know. I ain't did that. First, that. that first That's beat was just so, yeah. Nobody wants to hear that. No, bro. When it switched to conductor, I'm like, I'm like, this should have been the whole beat. Like the, the conductor joint should have been the whole joint. And that yeah. first beat was very. It was pretty. It was pretty bad. It was pretty yeah. bad. You know, you know why he did that? Because he's making a song. He's not making a diss. That's the thing. I don't. I don't know that I agree with you. B that the beat was trash. It just wasn't a good diss beat. You can't diss no. him over a beat like that. No. You're automatically gonna lose. That's why he had to switch. That shit sound like a that shit sound like a Manny Fresh beat from 1989. I did, I did not. <laughs> that was it was not good. It was like, not that's good. not yeah, if you're gonna diss good. somebody, that's not how you come. That's that's not the beat you use. No. Damn. That's not the no. Beat you <laughs> Sorry, Mike. <laughs> no, I agree. For a diss, I agree. It's not yeah, a it's not like, a good choice. Yeah, like the beat yeah. has to be better than what Kendrick rapped on. Yes. Or yeah. on par. Yeah. Or on par. Or yeah, four on par. Yeah. Yeah. Nah. Four on par. Yeah. I don't know. Cause yeah. Ether's beat wasn't like the best beat in the world, but the bars were but fucking it, were good enough. But, the, but it but it wasn't it wasn't like it wasn't trash, I'm saying I don't think people are pulling up diss songs and being like, oh that beat so much worse. <laughs> if J. Cole if J. Cole tore Kendrick up. I don't think we care about the beat. I, I think we would still mention. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the beat would still be mentioned. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. The, beat, I'm, I'm with you the beat wasn't great. Yeah, <laughs> the beat would still be mentioned. We'd be like, "Damn, he killing Kendrick." But why over this beat though? Like, <laughs> it would be, that would be the conversation, Mike. That would literally be the conversation. It's like, right. dang, man, he 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 got Kendrick, but y'all, that beat was kind of that beat was kind of trash. Like, you no, know, I was. yeah, I know when I heard it, I, I was like. This is what people were hyping up. <laughs> like, what is this? This shit is trash. Like, what is he doing? He had a couple of good lines in it that I was like, okay, ooh, ooh, that, that was good. Like, you're, I'm with you, Rod. Like, you're putting that into the, the ethos. Like, you're yes. putting that out there for people to right. have that conversation now. So, you're infecting the, the hip hop culture. So, now they yep. start talking about this nigga. So, but outside of that, especially over that beat, I was like, man, this, this ain't it, bro. And even when the beat changed, it was, it was fine. Um, and it got a little bit spicier, but I'm just, I'm not a fan of it. And, um, I'm glad he responded, you know, I'm glad he felt motivated and moved. 
Um, and now, you know, uh, Kendra's on watch. He's on the clock. But, yeah, it just it, it just wasn't it. It just wasn't it, bro. So, so I, okay. So, Kendra's I, not on watch. <laughs> so, so I, he I, is, man. He's on the clock, bro. I honestly thought he would have I honestly thought he would have responded by now. Why? No, Ron. You know, like, like I just feel like I just feel like he would have responded by now. Because here's the thing, and I know you, you was about to say some uh, FIFA, and I just want to touch on uh, what uh, Mike and B were talking about. I think you might have said it too. If it's a jab, it's just a jab. I think it's yeah. a better jab, and the reason why I think it's a better jab is because Kendrick really, like Mike was saying in our video, it was the focus was really on Drake. He didn't really say much about that's a good J. Cole. Point. That's a good point. But J. Cole good point. is like, let me just make it clear. Mm-hmm. I did know you said someone say something about me, so I'm gonna make sure you know I'm saying this about you. Right. So I feel like with that, with that, it kind of to me puts J. Cole a little above him because he actually went a little bit further on the disc. Now let, 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 let me let me like because above who above it. who Kendrick? Yeah, because think about it. What has Kendrick said about J. Cole really? He said a couple things here and there, but J. Cole actually said some things about him. It don't matter, Kendrick. Why? Because Kendrick it does matter, Mike. I think it does matter. That, that, wait, 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 wait. Y'all, y'all saying that because no matter how good the bars are, how good the flows are, mm-hmm. y'all saying because J. Cole said something directly at Kendrick, that that puts J. Cole above Kendrick in this. In, in the J. Cole battle, in the J. Cole Kendrick battle, yes. In the Drake and, and Kendrick battle, no. But in the Drake and Kendrick battle, I feel like J. Cole has thrown more point, thrown more punches and landed more. Versus Kendrick just threw a couple jabs and that's it. The beat was great, the flow was nice, but it was mostly about Drake. So so my thing is this, right? Like, and we all agreed on the last video that J. Cole has closed the distance between himself and Kendrick, right? And I think that that is the point that Cole was primarily making, saying that, you know, if there wasn't this beef shit, nobody would be talking about you, Kendrick, because when you don't drop music, don't nobody talk about you. So he made that point. That's that that that's a valid point. Um, I think that that was a, a valid point. I also think that the point that he was making, that he's just now getting into his prime. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Again, we said like in the last two, three years, nobody's been better or hotter or more consistent than J. Cole. Yeah. So he, to me, he's pointing out a lot of the obvious, which is why I felt it was just like jabs. And again, even on the conductor beat, when he said, look, man, I love my brother. I ain't really trying yeah. to do this to my brother. But if we got to go there, I'll go there. So he's just letting you know, nigga, I got levels. I got levels like this. I caught the strays. I caught the strays, and because I think I'm great, I'm gonna respond because I think I'm on that le- because I know I'm on that level, so I'm gonna respond. I I, I I understand the strays that you threw, and I'm just letting you know if you want to take it there, we could take it there. You know what I'm saying? So, and and that's why I agree with Rod. Like in their battles between Cole and Kendrick, Cole has the leverage right now. I don't see how. Okay, that's. I could, I would agree with y'all, and this is not again. This is not a diss on anything that J Cole did. I, I once again, I think the song was a dope song. I don't think it was a great diss. The reason for that is I've heard J Cole rap better. I have, and I think J Cole could rap better. The issue is I think that this was just a warning shot, and J Cole was holding back quite a bit. But the same thing can be said for Kendrick. So just because just because J Cole gave him a whole song of holding back versus a couple of bars of holding back. I'm, I guess I'm just not really understanding how y'all are putting J. Cole's song above Kendrick's when I guarantee you all of you would say that you liked Kendrick's verse better than you liked this song. So I guess I'm just confused. Okay, I like Kendrick's song better, but it wasn't a, it wasn't a total diss towards Drake. Either one. You, you mean towards J. Cole, you, you, you said Drake. Oh yeah, 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 towards, yeah. towards J. Cole. It was more so towards Drake. Right. So if it just just speaking, and I know if you stack bars up against bars, mm-hmm. J. Cole has the has more bars about Kendrick than Kendrick has of J. Cole. It's, it's, yeah. that, it's that simple for me. It's really that simple for me. Whether whether I like the track or not, it's hmm. just that Kendrick didn't didn't go in on J. Cole the way J. Cole went in on Kendrick. So you think J. Okay. So th- there's a couple things I'm confused about. Yeah. Okay. The first thing I'm confused about is 
I don't think J. Cole went in on Kendrick at all. I don't. Well, then Kendrick went in on J. Cole. Fine. I get that. But That's I don't. I yeah, I get you. I get you. I get yeah. you. It's a direct response. It's, it's a, a direct it's response. response to Kendrick. I don't think that. Oh, sorry. Go ahead, Rod. Oh, it's Ken said it for me. It's a direct response. Like, like mm-hmm. to, 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 to just shots that, that Kendrick probably baited him, right? He took the bait. He, he made some, he made a song and now it puts him slightly above Kendrick. In my opinion, Kendrick threw the bait out. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And now it's like, oh man, J Cole has to respond, blah, 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 blah. J Cole responds. And that now puts Kendrick in a position to be like, you now you need to actually respond back and go in on him. So th- to me, it puts okay. slightly above, it puts J. Cole slightly above Kendrick because think about it like this. If it didn't, it would be no reason for Kendrick to respond if, if we don't think that J. Cole is slightly above him at this point. Because at that point, it's just like, you just, you're just going to um, uh, back, back him. Look, I think what I'm seeing on Twitter is that that may help sum up a little bit of what you're saying, Rod, or yeah. is that people are saying that Cole is one and up. Because he had a direct response to Kendrick. They're putting Cole's response. They're saying that J. Cole right now is one Kendrick zero. Who are you following? I'm not seeing any of that. I'm seeing the exact opposite. I'm seeing think- I'm seeing people say what we started off this conversation with, which is the song wasn't that great. So they're saying that Kendrick's shit was just better. I'm not saying I agree with that. I'm just saying I'm not seeing the sentiment that y'all are seeing. Yeah, I get it, what was you're a, saying. it was on a Instagram kind of sum up post, and it was di- it was differing opinions in it. So it was people saying, "No, you're wrong." It was people saying, "Yeah, you're right." But I think it was off of uh, maybe like a hashtag or a trend that had Cole one and all people were responding whether they agreed or not. And my job right now is to challenge that. Right, my mm-hmm. job right now, although I really, although I prefer the Kendrick track. My job is to challenge you guys and everyone else to be like, okay, I understand you like Kendrick's track better, but let's just be honest. J. Cole has thrown the most bars towards this towards this man than Kendrick has thrown towards him. So if we're going strictly off of that, J. Cole is up. He's but up. I don't know who goes who goes strictly off of that though. Like I can you can you can take you can take let's say a Jay Z verse, mm-hmm. and then you can have. Remember when he was battling Joe Budden? This is all hypotheticals, but when Jay-Z might have a little bit of a slick diss out there, and then let's say Joe Budden creates an entire song, mm-hmm. but the song is not as hot as Jay-Z's little subliminal that he threw in this one verse. I don't think yeah. anyone would be like, well, Joe Budden is on top. Jay-Z has to respond. I don't think people are looking at it that way. I think people are looking at it like, who rapped better? Who had the better bars? And if I'm doing that, which is the only way I judge battles, I don't judge them off of who threw more straight bars because not that J. Cole's was whack, but what if they were? You're going to give J. Cole the edge because he threw more shots? Or is it who threw better shots? Jay Jay and Budden, right, in the example that you use, like they're not on the same level, so Jay would never make a total response. That's just who who popped in my head. That was a bad example. I got you. I got you. Um, But in terms of this one, it's not like Cole had non-quality bars. Those bars were quality. It's just that, it, and I agree with you, Mike, like, could he have went further? Yes. But what Kendrick said about him didn't warrant that. Yeah. What Kendrick said about him warranted this type of response. Do you want to really go there? Because right. rap for rap, bro, I can go there with you. So can if he- you want to go there, go ahead and jump. I set the bar. Go ahead and see if you could jump over that. And obviously, we all know he can. We all know Kendrick can. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So if you do, guess what? I'm gonna match you. And I'm I agree with that. I agree with every single syllable that came out of your mouth. Every single thing you said, I agree with. I don't know that I agree with this puts J Cole above Kendrick. I don't know if I agree with that, but I agree with everything you said, FIFO. Yeah, he I, shot I, at him a lot, but a lot of him was at the feet. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. like like right. oh, let, let's tackle the bar that you said was a super valid point where i i cut you off i don't know how valid of a bar that is if because because you say well if you weren't dissing us nobody would be talking about you that that could be true but only like if if kendrick dropped a song period mm-hmm. whether it was dissing whoever right as long as it was what kendrick does people will be talking about it. Mm-hmm. So that's why I don't really necessarily agree with what he's saying, unless we're going strictly 
off strict definition. Factually, if you didn't drop anything, no one would be talking about you. But if you talk the song, people would. But let me pause you there, right? So yeah. he also addressed that. So he had lines to back that up. Where okay. he said and he took the Jay-Z thing. He said, um, what is that? Um, four hot albums in a in a, in a, in a 12 year span. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So again, he's backing up the claim that only people talk about you when you drop your music, but you drop so infrequently that no. nobody's gonna be talking but about how you. Did so, but, wait, but don't yeah, they got the same amount of albums? Too. Yeah, don't they got the same amount of albums from like two since 2012, 2011 though? Okay, so we all agreed, and that's why I'm bringing stays up. busy. Exactly. J. Yeah. Cole for the last three years has stayed busy, and J. Cole has been in everybody's mouth, not yep. only because of his own projects, but because of the compilations. Let me look. Let's not forget the Dreamville compilations. Okay, right. I was just going by solo you albums. Know, I was just going by solo albums. I feel you, but, yeah. but we're not just talking solo album. We talking I got you. about I got you. I got you. J. Cole said, though. He's right. Right. He's no. AJ Cole said albums. So if no. we don't buy albums. Bara, FIFA fuck the bar. Hold on, I got you, FIFA. Okay. He didn't say albums. He said verse. Oh. J. Cole, I'm pretty sure it's J. Cole said that's a hot verse. He didn't say you only dropped certain number of albums. I can look real quick, no, but I'm pretty sure he said verse. He mentioned both. So he mentioned albums and he mentioned verse. He did mention he both. Mentioned both. Yeah. Okay. One was on the first beat, one was on the conductor beat. Okay. Yeah, he did mention so, them. So, so so he mentioned both. At the end of the day, and that's why I said, look, we all agree that in the last two, three years, Ken, uh, Kendrick Cole closed the gap. That's what he's talking about. That's what he's referencing. Go ahead. He averaged one hard verse like every 30 months or something. That's what he said. Where's the part that's about one. That's That's one of them. He also yeah. said something else about his music in terms of how four many albums in years. Four albums in 12 years, nigga, I can divide. So yeah. if that's the case, wouldn't that go to B's point about like, if they, they have, have the same number albums. of albums, then how is that really a diss? But Cole has way more verses right now. I feel you. I'm just saying he has more volume of work, which we all agreed has. Right. If you include the Dreamville stuff. And yeah. the Dreamville yeah. stuff. Is that really a diss, Ralph? If, if somebody says, well, no one talks about you it's unless not. you drop music. It's not. So that's, that's what I'm saying. It's a, it's, yeah. a, it's a factual point, but it doesn't really hurt me because it's like, well, yeah, but if I drop an album, everyone's talking about me. Yeah. And, and, and that's why I said I agree with you. I'm not calling it a diss. I'm right. calling it a response. Yeah, a warning. It's a warning. I'm yeah, happy, bro. Project. You know what I'm saying? I'm just letting you know that in, 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 in this ring of sparring, I'm at your level. So if you want to go, let's go. We can, we can take off the headgear. We can take off all the headgear. And we yeah. can go for real. That's all this was. And that's, and, and that's why I agree with you. I don't think it's a this. I think it's a warning. Yeah, hey, bro, I agree. If you want to go, let's go. I agree, 100%. So do you think Kendrick needs to do, this is more to, uh, well, I guess to all y'all, but really, uh, Rod and FIFO, since this is more your point, do y'all think that Kendrick needs to give him an entire song or can he just give him a little verse on J-Rock's album or something like that? No, I think I think we need a diss track. Hmm. Okay. I think we need a diss, I think we need a cold diss track. If you still want to throw some subliminals of Drake in there, fine, cool. Like, look, I still, I'm still on your head too, nigga. But so you, this you, one is you, about J, J. Cole this time. You, you think mm -hmm. he needs he's you think he need to make a full song going at J. Cole? Like it don't even need song. to be like a full What about song? a verse? What about it a full verse? A, it, could be, it could just be a, a whole it, it, it just need to be it just needs to be more directed at, at J. Cole. Okay. Time. What if it's for a verse? For a verse, damn it. Why you just answer my then beef up with all up? Because I, I don't know, man. It's just like I, I don't know. He already, he already did. He need a song. Okay. Man. Oh, let me ask you. He need a song. Oh, oh, he song. Get on business. Hey. hey, so let me throw this out, right? So you know, uh, the Metro and Future shit drop next fr next week. I don't know if the album's turned in or not. What if Ken what if Kendrick goes back on there and like and he has a direct verse at Cole on that? Album. That'll be kind of different. I'm, I'm reaching. I'm reaching different. though. I'm reaching. I, I get you. That's a good yeah. reach though. That'll be kind of different because it's like, all right, I'm now I'm gonna kill your ass on this verse. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Like, yeah. You know, that's a whole thing, right? Yeah. So that'd be a clever way of this. Be very movie. clever. But um, but but I think I would prefer a diss track, a Kendrick diss track. Just that solo can him. Go to. Got like, you. Yo, here's Got the you. Kendrick mm -hmm. J Cole diss track. I got you. And you wanted to you one of y'all said eviscerate. I can't remember which one of y'all used that word. But do you really want Kendrick to go on there and eviscerate Cole? Or do you want Kendrick to throw some like, you want, why? Because it was me, I said obliterate. Yeah, I said obliterate. obliterate, sorry, not eviscerate, thank you. 
<laughs> the right eight word, damn it. <laughs> I, 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 do you think it's necessary? Because J. Cole didn't go at him that hard. But 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 the he thing did. is, is that again, J. Cole gave him warning shots and said, hey, if you want to go there, let's go there. And I think, you know, um, I'm not that big an anime, but I, I fuck with um Super oh. Saiyans and all of that shit. Like nigga, go, said, like turn oh. Super Saiyan. Go all go all out. Some Dragon Ball Z Z shit. All, all them niggas. Uh, um, who, who who who's like his uh brother or cousin? Uh, man, we don't know, bro. Nah, you know, I'm bad with really names. don't. I know that. Hey, you know? Real quick, it has no, to be Drake shots at this point. No more subliminals. No more like oh, I'm just putting you along with with Drake because I'm mad. I'm really mad at Drake. No, mm-hmm. it has to be not. No, all right, no. Nah. Is this is about you? This is how I feel about you. I'm mm-hmm. trying to take it light. You took the bait, but this is how I feel about you, J. Cole. I get you. Mm. Okay. I guess I'm just stuck on obliterate. I don't know that I really <laughs> want. <laughs> I guess I just don't really know that I want Kendrick to obliterate J. Cole because J. Cole does not want to obliterate Kendrick. They need to. They need. Uh, look, maybe it's the piece in me. Okay. Maybe it's the piece of me, y'all. Who are you? Who are you, I don't really know that. that, that well, I don't think we. I don't think we need Kendrick to yes, obliterate J. Cole. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Because it's, it's great for hip hop. Because look, first of all, we. I, I'm assuming, right? Like I, I'm not in those people's camps. I don't know. Yeah. But I'm assuming that this is staying on wax. I'm assuming this is hip hop. Yeah. This, they don't got reason. Gone. Reason already tweeted about that. Okay, but 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 look at what he tweeted. I think maybe this is another semantics thing. When you say obliterate, I'm thinking Kendrick is going at your neck. He's no, tearing your career. But that's. I don't think that reason didn't sound like he said that. That's what's happening. He said playful. I, I don't want to say exactly like. Didn't he say something like playful? Yep. Something, something along. He made lines. it seem like it wasn't that deep. This is what Reason said. He said, um, he said, I hope y'all understand this sport. Don't take it so seriously, at least from a dot and cold. This is just this is just gonna be a friendly sparring. I'm excited to hear both get the shit off with no real issues. Then he continued, clearly y'all don't understand what friendly sparring means. Is niggas will rap. It just won't go past that or get super personal. Yeah, that's right. what I'm saying. Man, no obliteration. No obliteration. Yeah. It's almost like the Madden chat, right? Mm-hmm. I, everybody in there be talking shit to each other. They play each other. They beat them by 20, 30. It was like, okay, I'm going to get my get back. And then there's the revenge game, and I'm going to beat you by even worse than you did me. And then they just keep going back and forth. But it's no ill will towards one another. It's all peace, love. We dap it up. Hey, man, good game, man. I'll get you next time. 100% 100% can and all I'm saying is you know just recently I got my get back against Rel. Shout out the Rel level producer level. Um <laughs> look like he he beat me. You know what I'm saying? And I told him I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna whoop you and and I, and I gave him that ass whooping at the end of the last season and last night I beat him by 40. Like like th- that's that's what I mean by obliterate. So so I I I don't want to take that out of context of meaning like it getting super personal and it becoming real beef outside of right. hip hop. That's I my mean, fault. Then. That's how I took it. I took it the different way. That's my no, fault. And, yeah, and what I don't I mean is obliterate in the ring. It, Got using, using the boxing metaphor. Yeah, in the ring. Let, take off the headgear. This is no longer yeah. a spar. We are fighting. Here's you know, the thing: you have to understand, like the era that we come from. When a rapper says, I'm going to obliterate you, it's not what you're talking about. Now, now I 100% understand what you and Rod are saying. Yeah, no, I'm- but like when Biggie said, I'm going to obliterate you, it wasn't that. When, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. When Biggie, I'm just saying, I'm, you know, I get you I'm not saying it, like, I'm I get you. obliterate this man. Like, take him off the flight. No. I get I'm you. Saying, oh, no, boy. Yeah, okay, got you. You got me. <laughs> Lyr- lyrically, I'm going to say I'm better than you, but I'm not going to attack you personally. See, that's why you're too literal sometimes. <laughs> well, I just, don't, I just don't really see a point in this getting personal. Yeah, and that's no, what no. I thought y'all were saying. Like, nah, go at his neck, tear him up. And I'm like, for what? Just do a whole bunch of rapidity rap shit that's better than his rapidity rap shit. Yeah, and let's I think, do that. Yeah, I think I think it wouldn't it, it would be taste, tasteless if 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 like say J Cole went at his girl or some shit like oh, that. Yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. That's not necessary. No. That's yeah. not necessary be, in this situation. This yeah. don't need to be story of Adidas. This don't need, this don't right. need to be. that's obliteration, FIFO. Yes. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's what I was thinking. Like, no, y'all yeah. want to really hurt J Cole's feelings, and I'm like, I don't really know if I care to see that. 
And that's why I say it's good for hip hop. Like, I, like I, I want Kendrick to go as hard as possible, and I want J. Cole to respond. You, you want know, the competition. You want, want the competition. competition. You want yeah, the competition. I agree. I competition. You know, I want some raps. I want some hard ass raps. That's yeah. it. Yeah. And then right. what, what, what end up happening? Maybe motherfuckers might make a fucking album together. Some shit. They will. <laughs> they will. And, and that shit would sell crazy. That shit would sell crazy, bro. And that's why I said you can have peace after the war. You go yes. each other. Unless you obliterate them, then they ain't around. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? I don't know. <laughs> saying, though. You know. I agree. Hopefully, hopefully that is what this ends with. They bar each other to death. And then after that, it's like, all right, cool. We're done. Let's make an album. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Something like that. that. That that'd be dope. But um, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, nah, I, mean, I, I, yeah, I, I really, yeah, yeah. I really hope, hope, hope Kendrick uh, responds, man. Like for real, for real. And I said, I know we're, we'll get to the review um, at a later time, but I think what Cole is doing, promoting the fall off is amazing. And these are just Lucy's from the fall off. Bro. Um, let me ask this. Do y'all care if Drake responds at this point? <laughs> he should. I mean, yeah, he like should, but, he should. But, but, but look, B mentioned it in the last one, right? Where the marquee matchup is Cole versus Kendrick. That's the marquee matchup. It is. That's what everybody wants. To I was see. thinking about that a little yeah. bit, and I think we're underestimating that a little bit. What do you mean? <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. I, I, I think we're underestimating that a little bit. I think we're underestimating how what Drake could possibly do. Well, well, here's the thing. So stories of about my brother on the scary hours was I, I think it was the second or third track on there. Mm-hmm. They all produced by conductor. Those were all shots at Kendrick. Obviously, we didn't know that at the time. Oh. Yes. So are you sure? Don't 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 put it out there like that. Don't, don't fake don't fake news feed for us. Joe no, Budden no. Bro- Joe Budden broke that that song down and Uh-oh. talked about the bars that were directed at Kendrick on that song. All I'm saying, I go, believe you, FIFO. I believe you, bro. Listen to that song, <laughs> Mike. You ain't shit. <laughs> I do. Listen to that song, bro. and when you hear, especially, especially the last verse when Drake was saying, "You'll realize that you're not Kobe Bryant to us." Remember mm. when Kendrick did the hard part five and mm. he went into all of those people and one of them. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, that's some bush. I know you sent that to us in the thread, but I don't know, man. I don't, mm. I don't know. Why not? Mm. I'm just, I mean, because he's talking to a lot of different people. <laughs> oh, you think you think you, you, you think you, you think that's a reach? Cut, cut, cut him off! You get him out the Zoom chat. Get him off the Damn, Zoom. Damn, not the Zoom chat. Damn, don't obliterate him, FIFO. <laughs> okay, now nah, nah, he gonna start saying, "Jesus Christ, man, y'all." Crazy. This is a stream yard, by the way, nigga. <laughs> this is a stream yard, by the way, nigga. <laughs> all, all, all I'm saying is, uh, I don't disagree. Let's not underestimate Drake. But we we all would agree that Drake doesn't punch at their weight class. I don't know if I agree with that. <sighs> oh, I gotta go, y'all. I'm sorry. What's up with that villain laugh, though? <laughs> I think I'm underestimating him just a little bit. When has he done it? When what what evidence do we Meek have? Meek no, Meek. no, Meek Mill, Meek Mill didn't fight back. But he, he fought. Did, he did. He did fight no, back. He, didn't. he just didn't win. No, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't fight. Didn't. He didn't win. He, he didn't fight. His shit was horrible, wasn't it? His shit, his, his this shit was horrible. His this shit was horrible. He's supposed to be a battle rapper. You, you, nah. you, know, you know when Drake would have proved that? If he would have responded to the story of Addy Don. Uh-oh. 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 I understand Jay, that Jay, Jay, Jay Prince told him not to. I understand all that. But 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 again, Lord, we jumping all over that weight class. Bro, he's been he's been throwing little shots at him for the longest. But little it's shots. Not working. It's, little it's not shots. working. Yeah, it's just shots. He hasn't done a whole Hold this. I'm but just saying want, I wouldn't be surprised. Want to discredit stories of my brother, though. All I'm saying is that I wouldn't be surprised if Drake cook up something that actually is 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 pretty decent to to be to go into the sparring match. That's all. See, this is why I told you don't fall for this, FIFO. Because look what he's doing to you. It started off, you no know, punch in the same weight class. Oh yeah, he does. I think you're underestimating. Now it's pretty decent. <laughs> Anybody can do pretty decent. No, Jay Cole saying, just like, did it. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's true. J. Cole did just do it. All, all, all I'm saying, I just want to it. Like, that's why I said I'm going back on my own words. I'm going back on my own words saying that I don't think that he could he could spar with them, 
But when I kind of look back at some of the stuff that, that Drake has done and some of the stuff he said, I do believe that, you know, he it, it's a good chance he, he could cook up something. I don't know if he'll be able to cook some, up something for the long run, but I think he could cook up something. So then why, so they're not, then, uh, uh -uh, uh -uh. Because, because I'm proving your point with stories of my brother, but then you, 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 yeah. you're refuting that. All right, Mike. Not, right. Yeah. All right, Mike. <laughs> I'll keep talking. This is a funny conversation. I want to watch later, but I got to, I got to, I got to jet. So if we're that's done, fine. Whole fine. Part, I'm going to get out. Yeah, we, we are. We are. Yeah, no, that's fine. Well, here's what I'll say before I go. Here's what I'll say before I go. I, I'm with you, Rod, that Drake absolutely has to respond. Okay. He has to respond. Otherwise, I think that this removed a lot of points from his rapper belt. Oh, definitely. But I don't know that I'm going to hear something that I'm going to be like, oh, Drake has entered the chat with J. Cole and Kendrick. Okay. I, might hear, I might hear what you said. I might hear pretty decent because Drake is a great rapper. He showed that to me on, on Scary Hours. Right. I just don't think he's got it in him to really compete. I with guess, with a Kendrick a and a Cole at this point, I just don't. That's all. I'm not dissing Drake. I don't think he's whack, but I don't think he's in that same uh, weight class. That's all. Kendrick on the clock. You on the clock, buddy? We'll see. I'm 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 here for a response. I am. How long you got? Two weeks. Oh, yeah. a week. Nah, not that long. Hmm. What? I don't know how long, but he not just got to respond. Cole, they take their time nowadays. Yeah, Cole took over a week. Wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, almost two weeks. So yeah, I don't think we're gonna, I don't think we're gonna get a Kendrick Lucy, but I've been clearly I've been wrong plenty of times before, but I don't I don't see Kendrick doing a whole song for this. I just don't. But we'll see. B's idea. I think B's idea is dope. If that happens. it is it is clever if he does that. Yeah. So I don't remember what B's idea was. But y'all can tell me later. It, it should be on. We still don't trust you. Oh oh yeah 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 yeah. Hey look, y'all already know what it is, man. The conversation after the conversation is in the chat. So like, comment, and subscribe. Share this with somebody else. And we'll see what happens. Hey, if Kendrick responds, we won't get this again. Mm. All right. Peace. Peace. Peace.